And we'll return to the federal capital territory where President Muhammad Buhari is right now meeting with the speakers of the 36 state houses of assembly at the presidential villa Abuja. We're going to be joined now by Femi Akonde, who is live for us in Abuja. Femi, give us an idea of this um, um, meeting between the president and the 36 states um, speakers of the house of, of assembly. Yes, Esther, that meeting just ended between the president and speakers of, of the 36 state uh, houses of assembly. What uh, that meeting was about was to pile pressure on Mr. President to sign an executive order that will compel state governors to comply with the constitutional requirement of granting the state legislature and even the state judiciary financial autonomy. You know, there have been so much bickering between the state legislature and the executive um, over uh, financial autonomy, the state governors wanting to be overbearing and uh, taking control of the state legislature, making them a rubber stamp uh, state legislature. I know uh, in June this year, the president received a report from uh, a committee he set up uh, that, that that committee gave up, gave recommendations that uh, would ensure that financial autonomy of state legislatures, state legislative, uh, st the state legislature, I beg your pardon, is respected. But you know, uh, since June till now, that has not been signed. Everyone thought the president would soon sign that executive order. Just uh, a few weeks back, the state, the speakers of the state houses of assembly also. Um, reached out to the Senate president and even the National Assembly to help them prevail on the president. And in this meeting between the, the president and these uh, state legislators, we had the speaker, of the national, uh, speaker of the Federal House of Representatives in attendance, including the secretary to the government of the Federation. And they talked about um, financial autonomy for the state houses of assembly. That would make them functional and carry out their constitutional duty of lawmaking because as we have it now a look at the situation in Edo State for instance for example the Edo State speaker was also, was was absent at uh, this meeting we all looked out for the Edo State speaker because the issue in Edo State is a clear example of the state executive arm um, trying to take control of the legislative arm of government in contradiction of the uh, principles of separation of power Esther all right, our correspondent um, Femi Akonde live for us in the